Hey guys, <clears throat> what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a little comparison test on the Longbeard XR turkey shot and the number fives. Uh, today I'm going to be shooting them out of my Benelli M2 field. I hadn't seen a lot of uh, anything much on the internet as far as somebody doing any reviews or any kind of shots out of this particular gun that I could find, so I thought I would do one. I went out and purchased a Carlson's Longbeard turkey choke to do this uh, with and Normally I'm shooting my jelly head, my Primos, and uh, I figure, well, let's do a little comparison between the two chokes. One being the jelly head and one being the Carlson's long beard. The Carlson's long beard has a 665 restriction and the jelly head has a 660. So with that being said, guys, let's, uh, let's get this little video rolling and, and see what we can come up with as far as how these chokes are going to pattern. All right, guys, we're fixing to take the shot with the uh, jelly head. 20 yards. Get my earplugs in. I'm going to try to squeeze these off as easy as I can. That way I take a lot of human error out of it. I think you killed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that jelly head put it on it. All right, guys, this is going to be the uh, 20 yards with the Carlson's long beard. We live. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, this is going to be 30 yards with the uh, Carlson's long beer choke. It's going to be 30 yards with the uh, Primo's jelly head. Ow! All right, this is going to be the 40-yard uh, shot with the jelly head. Let's see what happens here. Man, that's a long shot for a long beard because I can barely even see the head. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We're going hot. All right, let's try a 40 yard shot with the uh, Carlson's long beard choke. Get my prop just right. Flinched. <laughs> Let's do that again. Help, help if I turn the safety off. You can only take so many ass kickings to the shoulder before you start flinching. <laughs> Ow. All right. Let's try that again. Uh. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we're going to take a shot with a Carlson's long beer at 30 yards. Could have used the lead sled, but then I wouldn't got sore and, you know, made it worth it. All right, guys, as you can see, in my opinion here, the uh, jelly head at uh, 20 yards beat out the uh, Carlson's Longbeard. Yeah, the Carlson's Longbeard has a more concentration of pattern, but what I did notice here, out of my particular gun, it shot a little bit high. So you guys that have a uh, adjustable sight on your gun where you can bring that down, that may be a winner for you. But uh, in the 10 inch circle with the uh, jelly head, I got 219 pellets. And in the Carlson's long beard, we got uh, 215 pellets, so uh, 20 yard goes to the jelly head. All right, guys, this is going to be the 30 yard shot uh, in the, excuse the wind today, but in the jelly head, we got in the 10 inch circle 177 hits. And you'll notice on the, uh, on your right side here, I took two shots with the Carlson's uh, choke, but Again, it hit a little high at 30 yard mark, and so I took a second shot. It brought it down a little bit. I was trying to hopefully blame it on human error, but I don't think it is. But the Carlson's uh, in the 10 inch circle got 129 hits at 30 yards. And like I said, the jelly head got 177. So let's move on to the 40. All right, this is the 40 yard shot. Uh, as you can see, on your right side, this is the Carlson's choke. It did beat out the jelly head at the 40 yards. It got 129 pellets in the 10 inch circle. And the jelly head got an 89. But uh, I'm not going to be shooting no turkeys anywhere further in 40 yards. And I feel pretty comfortable that I'm going to stick with my jelly heads because between zero and 40 yards, I feel pretty good about putting that gobbler on the ground. So uh, uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. But I, I think I'm going to stick with my jelly head. As I said, guys, uh, these jelly heads are not that expensive compared to some of the other ones you see on the market. And I believe I'm going to stick with my Primo's jelly head and my Benelli M2 field gun. So, uh, as always, guys, if you find this beneficial in any way whatsoever, uh, please hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget to click the little like, and that way you can be notified of any of our upcoming videos that may be uploaded. Uh, also, don't forget to check us out on the World Wide Web at www.metalneckoutdoors.com. And don't forget that social media, Instagram and Facebook. Guys, we really appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great day.